Writers in Hollywood have officially gone on strike. They are demanding better pay and more residuals from movie studios and streamers. The last time this happened 15 years ago, the walkout lasted for 100 days. So what does this mean for all of our favorite TV shows and movies? Chances are you won't notice much for, well, at least a little bit, with one notable exception. All of the late night shows will be grinding to a halt and will air reruns for the time being. Stephen Colbert even addressed the strike in his monologue last night. Take a look. These are our writers, and I'll stick myself in there because I'm WGA2, and they're so important to our show. They, they write the monologue, uh, the meanwhile, the cold open, and without these people, without these people, this show would be called The Late Show with a guy rambling about the Lord of the Rings and boats for an hour. <laughs> SNL is also done for the season, but all your favorite daytime soaps will still stay on the air, at least for a few weeks before going dark. So what do we think of the writer's strike? You wrote for The Shack Show. You've yes. written a lot of different pieces in uh, Hollywood. A lot of my friends are affected by this, a lot of them. So yeah. what are you feeling? Uh, I feel like this has it's time. This had to be done because the model of how people make money, we have 13-year-old multimillionaires because of streaming. People, you can rewatch movies that you would only catch once or twice on HBO all the time. People need to be compensated for that. But that model has not changed. And you know the people making the money aren't in a big hurry. So the reason people strike all the way back since 1968 and before is because they work. So we'll see who's going to blink first. But I do want the people that have provided so much for us to be compensated for it. That's yeah. it. I don't, make, I don't get anything from this. I just want everybody to get what they deserve. And I think that's the key, the people who have provided so much for us because most people watch television and streaming, whatever, that it, they believe that the people who they see on the screen are the most important people. Mm -hmm. And those people would not be there on the screen if they weren't supported by writers, producers, like all the people that you don't see. That's what you and, always say, Jeff. Go yeah, ahead, and it's yeah. like, but the thing is, Remember just in uh, pandemic time when we were locked down, how appreciative we were for all of that original content yep. and all of the things that we got to watch for entertainment, and that's going to be affected. The last time this happened, it cost about $2 billion. That would be about $3 billion built in for inflation. This is going to make an impact, and people should care. Jeff? Yeah. I'm not Stephanie Jones. I'm back. Oh! Yeah, yeah. It's no, me. It's me. Didn't it's me. Yeah, I know. Uh, also in <laughs> Chanel. Yes, very much so. Hard J is more like it. But uh, yeah, the, the people behind the cameras are the most important. I love that image that Stephen Colbert did with his face with everybody because I wish we had something like that. It's all the people in this room, the people up there, the people in the other room. It takes a village, and I know that sounds cliche, but it really does. We're secondary on the show. It's the people behind the cameras that make it run. Yeah. You know, Notice we can sad. switch out hosts. We can't switch out Brian, the director. That's right. Put me up there and see what happens. We could get, maybe, maybe we get a new Rob. I don't know. Oh! I'm just joking. I'm just joking. I love you. Burn. You can love you, Steady Camera. Ever. <laughs> Ever.